Hello, Yosemite Church. Happy Monday. This is Pastor Stephen coming to you from Mariposa. Yesterday, it was such a joy for me to be able to share with you and speak a little bit about surrender and the power of surrendering to the Lord, the, 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 the freedom it comes with, the healing it comes with, the revelation it comes with when we come before the Lord in that manner and, and really cultivating the inner life through surrender. And the title of my message that I actually want to unpack a little bit was Yielding to Grace cultivating the inner life through a lifestyle of surrender. I, I wanted to talk about the word cultivating first, and that's usually an agricultural word, right? It's like when you're thinking about tending to plants, watering or fertilizing, uh, something very common in the valley, right, with farms. But we can also use that term in the sense of cultivating our relationship with God, our inner life, our inner garden, so to speak. And the way we, we do that is consistency. Pastor Jeff often talks about the rule of life. And that really has to do with a consistency, a pattern of daily connecting with God to connect with him, right? So when we think about a plant though, let's use that as an example. Let's say you have a plant in your house and you calculated that you watered about five, you know, five, use five gallons of water over a month's period. And you're like, well, well instead of doing it a little bit at a, at a time, why don't I just dump all five gallons on top of it? Should you know, take care of it? No problem, right? Yeah, well, most of you probably don't know what's going to happen to that poor plant. You're going to drown it. It's probably going to die, right? It's, it's really no different with any of our relationships. Think about a relationship with a loved one, uh, someone you connect with. Let's say you, you calculated that you speak to them, I don't know what, eight hours total through the whole month or something like that, right? And you said, you know, why don't I just take one day? We'll just talk all day long and we won't speak to each other the rest of the month. How do you think that's going to go? Probably the same way as the plant, right? It's no different with our relationship with God. It's something that needs to be tended to on a consistent basis. It doesn't have to be hours and hours and hours per day. It's not meant to be to overwhelm us, but really to make a connection. Maybe, and some of us are in different places. Some of us can do hours, and for us, it's no problem. And for others, five minutes is a struggle. And so what we do is we start, you start and grow from there, right? You begin that process and then let it grow naturally from there. Um, there are going to be days that you're like, I don't feel like doing this. Just like there's days you may not feel like talking with someone who's who's a loved one, but you do it because you want to love them. And you and, and there's a, a value and a joy. It doesn't always have to be good feelings when we're connecting. It's the same way in our relationship with the Lord, you know, no different for me. Like There are days where like, I'm excited to connect with the Lord. Other days I'm like, I just want to, you know, do nothing. But I know that if I do that, that's going to cause my relationship with God to atrophy. And that's not something I want. I don't want that, that garden of my soul to wither, you know, when I'm, it's not tended to. And so I say you can start simply. It could be like we talked about yesterday, you know, with the, the Lord's Prayer. You can simply pray the Lord's Prayer, the one he taught us. And if that's all you can do and, and read a little bit of scripture, then start there and let it grow from there. And then maybe read another scripture or add to that. Whatever, wherever you're at, the Lord wants you to draw close to him. It says in James uh, chapter 4, verse 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. That's a promise. And the Lord wants to have that intimacy with us. Isn't that awesome? Like the, the, our creator of the universe wants to have intimacy with us, closeness with us. So Lord, I just pray for my brothers and sisters right now. And this Monday, as they start their week, pray that you would bless them and be with them, that they would you would put in them a desire to draw close to you. Even if it's a small start, it's great. Or if it's longer, great. You want to have that connection with them, Lord. Help us all to desire to connect with you, but even connect with you when we're not feeling like it, but that it would be consistent, a pattern to draw near to you so that you draw near to us and that together we can grow and flourish in your kingdom and bless others along the way. Lord, we give you thanks and praise. Christ's name.